There are 400 calories in one bowl of dry cereal. In part A, we'll write an equation that relates the amount of calories to the number of bowls. State the dependent and independent variables. The rate is 400 calories per bowl, so the relation is C equals 400B, where C is the amount of calories and B is the number of bowls. The total calories depends on the quantity of cereal. C is the dependent variable. B is the independent variable. In part B, we are asked where this relation is a function. We will also write the relation using function notation. This relation is a function since we have a dependent and independent variable. Also, the graph is a line that passes the vertical line test. We can write this in function notation as C of B equals 400B. In part C, we'll graph the relation. Why can it be graphed only one way? This function has a y-intercept of 0 and a slope of 400. Since we are dealing with a function, we may not graph this any other way. Calories must stay on the y-axis, and the number of bowls must stay on the x-axis. So to clarify, a relation like a plus b equals 5 can be graphed two ways since it is not a function. There is no dependent or independent variable, so it does not matter how each axis is labeled. The function c of b equals 400b has a dependent and independent variable, and we need to preserve that relationship in the graph. The dependent variable must go on the y-axis, and the independent variable must go on the x-axis.